What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Los Angeles Angels versus Houston Astros. Major League Baseball matchup going down Friday, June 7th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam Season Pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. But what it's going to get you access to is the waiting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my Nerfies and Yerfies and my first five plays, as well as plays I make throughout the day based on things like line moves, money moves, pitching changes, and lineup changes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in and that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with, text 77, excuse me, call 775-636-7674. We'll get you some more information. Normally I say text, but I believe our text signs are still being a little bit crazy, so... Uh, calling is the best way to get through. But let's get to this one between the Los Angeles Angels and the Houston Astros. And uh, the Los Angeles Angels sending out Griffin Canning for the start here, while the Houston Astros will counter with Framber Valdez. And we just saw Valdez against the Angels, you know, not that long ago. A couple weeks ago, he gave up eight runs on 10 hits, three home runs over five innings of work. It was a game that uh, the, uh, the the Angels ended up winning 9-7 to seven as they got to, to Valdez early and often. And, it's a back and forth game, but it was a you know, game that still the uh, the Angels ended up winning nonetheless. And now, you got to take on an Angels team that's maybe started to find some success a little bit. Sure, they were all low scoring games, but the pitching was holding up against the San Diego Padres, and they found ways to get the job done in that series. And now you send Griffin Canning to the mound, who's had a decent run over the last six starts, basically since the beginning of the month of May. You know, two earned runs or less in five of six starts. The majority of those are going five full into the sixth inning. And uh, just as a hard luck loser last time out, gave up one run on four hits over six and two thirds, but the offense couldn't back him up. But now the offense is starting to come alive a little bit. And the Angels actually have some decent numbers against left-handed pitching over the last two weeks. Um, Top 10 in team OPS, isolated power, batting average against lefties. So I think they can once again get to Valdez, who hasn't been, you know, perfect against the, uh, against the Angels. Like I said, his last two starts against the Angels for Valdez, 13 earned runs on 17 hits, five home runs allowed. So, I think uh, I think the Angels can have some success here, and the Houston Astros just continue to be hot, hot and cold. They're hit and miss. You know, some days the offense shows up and they look like you know the, the Houston Astros that we've seen year in and year out for the last couple seasons, or the last I should say few seasons, almost the last decade. But then there are other times where they look like the Houston Astros that started the year nine and nineteen. So I, I'm going to go with the uh, the Los Angeles Angels plus the run and a half. I might sprinkle a little bit on the money line as well, but I think Canning can have a decent enough start here. Uh, like I said, the Angels are starting to st- start to put it all together a little bit here. And like I said, it's just hard for me to trust the Astros at this price, given what we've seen from Valdez against the Angels. So give me the uh, give me the Los Angeles Angels plus one and a half, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. Why are your Pick Dogs? Check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.